guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jessica. I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. I've been purchasing a lot of makeup. What else is new? Also at the end, I saved the products that I'm going to be returning to show you guys. I'm tell you why maybe help you out a little bit. So can you believe it's almost Christmas? Like what? I'm so excited. Flying back home to Michigan to see my family here in Texas. It snowed for like two hours one day and everyone freaked out and then the next day it was 70 degrees again. So I'm just so excited to go out for the holidays and be with the family. I just love Christmas. So anyway, let's jump into it because I have a lot of stuff here. First, I'm going to start off with a foundation. I've been hearing everyone talk about this. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation. I got mine in the color BD20 Warm Ivory. I've been hearing people talk about this so much. So finally, I just bit the bullet and bought it. I mean, the packaging is beautiful. I've worn this a few times. I can't say that I was overly wowed by it. My skin's kind of going through this weird dry patchy phase right now, and I think that could have a little bit to do with it. But it is nice and creamy. It blends out nicely. I feel like it has decent medium coverage. And it just is a little bit maybe too satin matte for my skin right now so i gotta play with it a little bit more but if you guys have this foundation and you love it let me know what primers you recommend using with it or if you know you have dry skin it didn't work for you i'd love to hear your thoughts on it because i feel like i'm really wanting to like it but i'm just not sure so as you can see this color is a nice fair color with yellow undertones which is what i go for with my foundation I saw this set on Sephora and I was like, uh, yes please. It came in really cute packaging, which again, I don't know why I say the packaging because I've used these, I've used all of these products. But it came with like really pretty silver wrap around these things. I'm all about illuminating primers or moisturizing primers. So I saw that it had two primers I've been wanting to try from Becca. One is the first light priming filter and the other is the backlight priming filter. Plus it had this under eye corrector that I already have in the full size and I use almost on the daily. So I thought it would be perfect for traveling. This is the under eye brightening corrector. It's a little bit more of a pinky salmony undertone, which is great to cancel out those blue tones under your eyes. It is a little bit more of a sticky consistency. So I will put this on, I'll tap it in with my fingers and just light, use a tiny bit. If you use too much, it won't work. And then I'll go on and put concealer on top of it. It just helps do a really good job of color correcting. And these two, um, I really like, I have the backlight priming filter one on today as a base and I'll show you guys what these look like. This is the backlight priming filter. It's more of a natural looking sheen to your face. Definitely a lighter, thinner consist consistency compared to the MAC Strobe Cream. So if that's too heavy for you, I would suggest this one as an alternative, but I don't feel like it gives you as much of a glow. This one is just really good if you need some brightening because it has that lavender base to it. So it's definitely more of a watery consistency. Consistency. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, stay purple or anything. When you blend it in, it just does look really nice and brightening. So, love that you got all of these for a really decent price in a kit. This is the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in the color Enamored. I love Marc Jacobs Lip Glosses. I feel like they're my favorite formula. They're not too sticky, but they're very pigmented and they last nicely and wear nicely on the lips. So, I wanted something that was kind of a neutral color. You could wear anytime, and this is it. I feel like it swatches a lot darker than when I put it on my lips. When I actually put this on my lips, I don't know if it's because it, my lip color is very similar, but it tends to just blend right into my lips, so you don't see it that much. So it's almost a good kind of every day, if you just want to throw it on, not worry about getting it, keeping it in the lines and everything, you can, or you can just use it as a topper as well. So really love these. This is the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in the color number one, Warm Ivory. I had a comment, someone was like, you don't look fair. And I'm literally the fairest shade in every single foundation, number one, and even in the YSL foundation, ivory, warm ivory, like I'm always warm ivory in foundations. I don't know if it's the lights or because I bronze up or what, but I'm definitely 
very fair right now in the winter time. So I've only used this maybe twice and I love making sure my face is very moisturized, even sometimes putting on like an oil on my face as a base. And then when I do that, this just tends to glide right on. It's just a, I wouldn't say it's super creamy and it's not matte. It's like a nice satin finish and about maybe, maybe medium coverage. So it's kind of like that really nice if you're in a hurry, you just want to throw something on, not worry about it being too full coverage or too light, then this is a really nice option. I don't really hear many people talk about this foundation, especially with the foundation sticks being really popular. I swatched a few in the store and some of the consistencies I just didn't like. The NARS ones I couldn't find a match for my skin tone, they were really too pink. And there were a few other ones that I would swatch it and I just wasn't impressed, but I really, I like this one, so I need to use it more, but definitely I've been loving it so far. All right, this is a repurchase just times a million for me. I've talked about this for uh, so many times on my channel, but they were sold out during the VIP, Sephora VIB sale. So of course I had to get it. Uh, I think I went to a store and I found it. Bought it at full price, unfortunately, but it's that good. I'll do it. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light. This is what I use to set my under eyes every day. It's not too heavy. It gives a nice glow to the under eye area. And I also sometimes set the high points of my face with a large fluffy brush. I just love this. It's so beautiful and just like finely milled. It's just the best powder. I love it. Pick me up another one of those. These are what I have on my eyes. I've never... Either I've been living under a rock or I don't remember hearing anyone talk about these or I haven't been paying attention. But long story short, these are the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop Instant Dazzle Cool Color Sticks. Oh, they're eyeshadow sticks. And I got the color, they're called Twinkle Pop Eye Sticks. I thought the color was Twinkle Pop the way it's written here, but no. They're called Twinkle Pop Eye Sticks. I got the color a darker brown three shakes and then I got a light highlighter color called Volvo. So this is what I have in my eyes today. <sighs> if you're going to get anything in this haul, it's these. I don't know where I've been with the whole eyeshadow stick thing, but I just feel like I've been hearing more about them. So I kind of went on a hunt and in, I went in the Sephora and started swatching all the different brands that had them. And these were the best formula I could find. And this color, Three Shakes, it's the only thing I have on my the base of my eyes right now. And then I used a little bit of just a bronzer to blend out my crease. But this is so pretty. <sighs> like it's the most beautiful bronzy, not too warm, not cool, just Oh, love it. Love this for a lid shade. If you just want to do like a quick and dirty smoky eye, literally I just threw this on my lids, blended out the edges, then in the inner corner I put the lighter one which is Volvo and you can see it gives you a really nice highlight. Put that on the inner corner and my brow bone. It sets down nicely. It doesn't crease from what I could tell. I haven't worn them a ton, but from what I've noticed, it doesn't crease. The coolest part about it that I didn't realize is when you put it on your lids, it gives this weird cooling effect. So it almost helps like depuff. I don't know if I'd go as far to say depuff, but it feels like it's depuffing your eye area and it just feels nice and cooling. So I really, really love these. See how that's already pretty much set? Like, oh, I want to be getting more of these. They're awesome. They are amazing if you want to do a really quick eye, but you don't want to have a lot of time. Yeah, Marc Jacobs, I feel like you're just kind of killing it right now. Speaking of Marc Jacobs, I'm going to stay on that train. I actually haven't used this yet because it's a repurchase for me. This is the my favorite mascara, Marc Jacobs the Velvet Noir. I think Sephora just had a $25 off if you spend $50 for VIB Rouge. So I was like, you know what? gonna be getting me a replacement. This is one of my top two favorite mascaras. Uh, I think it's my third repurchase. Really look for mascaras that do volumizing and lengthening, and this is the only one I found so far that can do both. So, love it. You guys know my struggle with my waterline and no liner sticking or staying ever, right? So I thought I would try another one. <laughs> This is the Sephora Retractable Eyeliner. It says waterproof, and I got in the color matte brown slash black. It is what I have in my waterline right now, and my under water under eye. I feel like, again, it's good, but it already has started kind of separating and breaking up a little bit. I like it. I've been using it almost every day, but when I only put it in my upper waterline, I notice it does transfer to my lower waterline. 
So still on the hunt for the best eyeliner for the waterline. Me and my contacts and my watery eyes just have a struggle, but this is a really good one. I feel like other people that don't have my issues would love this because it's super pigmented, glides on easily, and it just seems to be nice. It has a smudger on one end too, which I don't, I haven't used yet, but it's the retractable kind, which I really like because it's convenient. Because who has time to sharpen their pencils every day? Not me. This is the Laura Mercier Velvet Extreme Matte Lipstick. I got this in the lightest, nudist color called Respect. I'm not sure about this. I just heard about it and I was like, this sounds awesome. It is what I have on my lips now. I had to put on a lip liner with it. I used Max Etc Pro Longwear Lip Liner because it was just too like new to be on its own. I'm not sure on the formula. I feel like it's kind of giving me that butthole lips. See on the inside how it's already doing that like oh, a straight up line where it comes off and it's very prominent where you can see your lip line? It's doing that. But I like how it's matte, but it's a comfortable matte. Yeah, I feel like I want to try one more color and see if I like it a little bit better. So far, it's comfortable and it's wearing nicely, so we'll see. All right, this is what, this was a 100 point perk. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. Thirsty Skin Relief. So you know I'm obsessed with the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, it's like a serum, you pump it and it comes out. It's just a whole bunch of hyaluronic acid that you put on your face, it keeps your skin moisturized throughout the day. I'm addicted to it. And then I saw that it had this face spray, so I obviously had to try it. I've only used it once. I didn't have any makeup on, just to kind of refresh and moisturize my face in the middle of the day, and it felt amazing. S swiped it up, I would suggest if you Want to use a 100 point perk? This would be a good one. Yeah, it feels really, really nice. I feel like you could use this as a setting spray and a refresher. And you get a decent amount. What is this? One fluid ounce. So I just love it when they have good point perks, you know? It's the best. Next is something I got from a website called Peach and Lily. I think I had talked about, I had purchased the travel size of this May Coop raw sauce. And this was another thing I had heard from Stephanie Nicole. I kind of uh, value her opinion when it comes to skincare, and so I've been testing some of the things she's recommended. And this is the one that just stuck with me. I really love. I use it on the daily, so I ended up purchasing the large size. I got the small one on Sephora, and then I went to purchase it again, and so far, Sephora no longer sells it. So I don't know if they got X'd or pulled from being a reseller, but I found it on Peach and Lily website and bought two other items, which I'll show you quickly. But this is just amazing. I use this every single morning after I get out of the shower and before I put on anything. So this is a toner for me. Its base is maple tree sap, which I guess has the pH of your natural skin. And so anything you put on top of it is going to be absorbed into your skin a lot better and utilized a lot more efficiently. So it's just a really, it's kind of like a, not a thicker, it's like a thick water consistency almost. And whenever I put it on my skin, it just feels so nice. It's like my skin just drinks it up. And then I go right on top of this with my Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. And I just love the combination of those two. I was out of this for a couple days and my skin was like, me. Whenever I didn't use this and went on first with my vitamin C serum, it was like it didn't spread nicely and it just felt kind of like patchy when I was trying to blend it. Whereas when I used this before, everything just goes on so smoothly. And I really love this stuff. So I'm like so excited to have it back in my life. And then on that Peach and Lily website, I got like a small size trial, a trial size eye cream, but this is kind of huge. So this is the Snail Repair Eye Cream. It had really good reviews from Mizon or Mizon. And it, you know, I've only been using it for a few days, so I haven't noticed anything, but I'm going to keep using it. It's very light, very moisturizing, doesn't feel sticky, absorbs nicely, and it doesn't sting my eye area. I notice a lot of eye creams do that. So I'll continue using this. If anyone's heard of this brand or also use this, let me know what you think about it. The last item from Peach and Lily I purchased was this Laneige Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. I think, come on, sweetie, it's okay. This came with this little, no one is here. No one's here. I just feel like this is so bougie, but I love it. It's one of those that I never thought I would buy, but it wasn't as expensive as I thought it would be. I think it was like 
$50 maybe. You get a ton. This is going to last forever. And it came with this weird spatula that I was like, yeah, I'm not going to use that. But I actually just set it on the lid on my counter. And in the evening before I go to sleep, I just take the little spatula and get a little dab of it and put it on. And it is so moisturizing. It's like a luxurious whipped kind of moussey feeling that does stay on my lips all night long and when I wake up they do feel nice and moisturized. I really like this. It's something that I thought was going to be overhyped or overpriced but now that I have it I feel like I don't even want to travel without it. So loving that. Okay this video is already really long so I'm going to whip through these things that I'm going to actually be returning from Sephora. I think a couple of them I had mentioned before or previously so I wanted to give some updates and some of them I haven't shown before but I just wanted to tell you about them before I sent them back. The first one I did mention in my previous video, it's this Dr. Dennis Gross Sheer Mineral Sun Spray SPF 50. Now, I tried so hard to want to like this. I think it just didn't work for me because my skin's too dry. When you spray it on initially, it feels kind of like greasy, but then it dries quickly. Like it doesn't moisturize your skin at all. So for me, I was using this in the mornings before I went to the gym because I, even if I go outside, I always have sunscreen on. And I would spray it, rub it in, and my face just felt so tight. So I just, you know, I just don't think it works for me. If you have oily skin, maybe you would like this. But again, that initial feeling when you're rubbing it in, it feels kind of greasy. So, you know, I'm sure it did a great job. But for me right now, in the winter months, it's just too drying of a formula. This is the Wander Beauty On The Glow Bronzer Stick. Once One side is a bronzer, one is a highlight. So I've been searching for like one and done stick that one side's a bronzer and the other side's a highlighter. And I came across this, it had decent reviews. They have two options. One is a light option, one's a dark option. I got the dark option because some of the reviewers were saying that the light one was just too light even for fair skin tones. And boy were they right because even I got Capri this is the darker one and it's still too light and it is fairly warm. For me, it just wasn't pigmented enough and then when you blend it out, it just kind of blends into nothing. So I just feel like for the price of this, it wasn't, it just didn't work out for me. And then the other side was too dark um, for me as a highlight. It was really, really pretty but it's just too dark for me. So bronzer was too light and the highlight was too dark. That's an issue I tend to find with those sticks that have both. A lot of times one will work, the other won't, or neither work. It's really hard to find one where both colors work. So let me know if you guys have any recommendations. Like I continue trying and I can't find them, but I love the convenience of just throwing it in your purse or having it on the go or quickly throwing it on in a stick form. I love that. So Unfortunately, the colors didn't work, but I'd like to find one that does. This is another Sephora eyeliner. This is the Sephora Crayon Contour 12-Hour Eye Pencil. When I was in Sephora, the guy told me that this was a different formula and it lasted longer than the retractable one I showed you. But no, it's the exact same formula. I literally tested one in one eye and the other in the other eye for a few days, and it's the exact same color, exact same formula. This is in the color, it says Tiramisu matte number 13 but it was like the exact same color as the matte brown black one and i just noticed that i'm like wow I want a retractable one that I don't have to sharpen over one that you do have to sharpen and if it's the same formula I don't need both so I'm going to be returning this one. Then the last item is this Laura Mercier Mod to Modern Holiday Caviar Stick Eye Collection. This had four colors in here. I've been wanting to try and find eyeshadow sticks because I love the Marc Jacobs one. So I bought these at the same time, tried them both, and there's nothing against the formula, but the colors just pulled too pink on me. I didn't like, the colors didn't really work for me, and I was so obsessed with these that I was like, I'm never gonna use these. So these are gonna be going back. Woo, we made it through. Hi, sweetie. Do you want to be in the video? Cookie's here walking around, so if you heard anything, it was my dog. I hope you guys liked this video or found it helpful. If you have any questions on a specific item, leave me a comment below. If there's anything you want me to do a more in-depth video on or testing out or something, let me know. I would love to do that. I hope you guys are excited for the holiday season, regardless of what you're celebrating. Just wishing all of you a happy happiness. Sounds so cheesy, but... Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.